My name is Mary-Anne Leetoff. I'm the National Program Manager for Polio Australia. In spite of being a small organisation, we've been able to achieve a number of programs that we're very proud of. In the six years that we've been operating, we've been able to release two clinical practice manuals. We now have six websites that we're operating. We have been putting in place a number of strategies and those might be lobbying to government. Polio Australia has been coming to Parliament House since 2007. We have an annual campaign called We're Still Here and we have been campaigning for increased services and funding for polio services across the nation. There's so many issues and it's so good to have a Friends of Polio group that specifically briefs MPs on those issues through events like we've seen today. It's made people more aware of polio like myself and to also take an interest in it and see how we can assist as elected representatives of the Australian people. I'm so pleased to be associated and to work and support with Polio Australia. The work they're doing is so important, particularly to support post-polio survivors and making sure they're getting support they need. Our main role is to try and educate health professionals into the fact that the later effects of polio exist. We try and do that through running clinical practice workshops by clinicians, but it is often an aha moment for the health professional to understand why they can't actually work with a post-polio body the same way that they work with people with other neurological conditions. Post-polio syndrome, or the late effects of polio, is quite specific, but it's not difficult to manage. You just need to know what you're working with. Today is a fantastic start with the launch of the register, with many stories where people visit GPs with symptoms and they're just brushed aside as a whole range of different things. So the misdiagnosis is something that we should be dealing with uh, as quickly as possible through education, through courses, through etc., through educating GPs and doctors. Polio Australia has been involved in the Walk With Me event for the last four years. And the Walk With Me event that we've held in Brisbane and Canberra in, in 2016 have been very successful. Came along to do the Walk With Me and to enjoy the company of other polio survivors. The money raised today is to keep Polio Australia viable. My name is Karen Kalenko and I'm involved with Polio Australia because I'm a Rotarian. So of course we're highly involved with End Polio Now and we've been fortunate enough to travel around the world with this cause. I think the most important thing is that an awareness has to be created for the survivors of polio because people don't even know they exist. There has to be a support system in place for them. It's just so important to keep highlighting the needs for polios and those with post-polio to have the, these services that we've been struggling to get for 10 years. It's a very worthwhile cause. We're all getting a bit older and a bit more challenged to get around. Um, so whenever there's an opportunity to represent to government, I'm more than happy to, to come. G'day, my name's Brett Howard. I'm the president of Paleo SA. I had to resign from work because I couldn't do what I was, had to do and the doctor diagnosed post-polio. It'd be nice for us to have a lot of more medical knowledge. You talk to the doctors and they say, oh, that's all finished. Well, it ain't all finished because we're uh, all getting older with it. And I support them every year they come to Parliament, or every time, in fact, that they come to Parliament to raise awareness of this really important issue. The Bequest program was something that we just started up this year and we're hoping that we might be able to generate funds through that. We have a demographic where the Bequest program might be something that they are starting to think about. If they could think about leaving some money in their will to Polio Australia, we could definitely use that money to put out more resources for health providers and for polio survivors alike. And I'm delighted to say these days that things have changed I've only just recently seen a cardiologist and his knowledge really surprised me. So I'm, I'm very grateful for a lot of hard work over the last 10 years. Polio Australia are just absolutely fantastic. The amount of work that they do here with very little resources, what they've achieved since I've been here in this parliament from 2004 till today is amazing. It is vital for a small organisation like Polio Australia to continue running its programs.